Hey guys, happy training Tuesday. Hope you are having a fantastic day. Um, I am here today to talk more about our gut. My name is Kim Irwin. I'm an independent consultant with Arbonne International, and I appreciate you joining me on these Training Tuesdays. I'm really excited about it. I learn a lot, and hopefully you guys are learning something as well. Um, but today, I wanted, like I said, I want to talk about the gut again. I talk about that a lot because it's really, really important to our lives. Um, and our immune system, serotonin. I mean, um, if you've heard any of my earlier trainings, uh, we do talk about how um, there's good bacteria and there's bad bacteria and how important it is to have the good bacteria, especially right now. Like our world is demanding that we do everything that we can to make sure that we have healthy guts because that is where all of, not all, but the majority of our immune foundation um, comes from, okay? So uh, there are a couple of things I wanna, first I wanted to just kind of um, reiterate a couple of things. Serotonin is, um, is manufactured in the gut, in the gut lining, and 90% um, of serotonin is made in the digestive tract. Okay. So serotonin is the feel good hormone. It, it, um, allows for positive emotions, positive feeling. Um, and then, um, there's another word that I haven't talked a lot about, but it's called, it's called microbiome. And if you are familiar with what that word is, great. <laughs> if you're not, I'm going to help you out with that a little bit. Um, microbi the microbiome in our systems can weigh as much as five pounds, okay? And there's bacteria in it. And what that does is it assists in digestion, it helps regulate the immune system, and it helps protect against bad bacteria. Um, it also produces B12, thiamine, riboflavin, vitamin K, and that assists in blood coagulation. So it's got, it's got a, a pretty hefty job, okay? And it really does rule our bodies. So I was talking to my sister-in-law the other day, and she, um, she acquainted me with this podcast. You guys may have heard of Dr. Axe, the Dr. Axe show. And I'm not familiar with him. I've, I've not ever listened before, but she forwarded a podcast to me and, that I listened to. And um, he was interviewing a gentleman. His name is Dr. Zach Bush. And he is actually an MD. And I'm just going to tell you, he is a physician that specializes in internal medicine, endocrinology, and hospice care. But he has a focus on the microbiome as it relates to health and disease and immunity. So um, I listened to this. It's a, about a 50-minute podcast, and it can get kind of technical, lots of big words, <laughs> lots of different concepts. But if it's something that you're interested in, I'm going to go ahead and I'll put that link to that podcast so that you can listen and get some additional information on it. But um, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but they talk about how important soil is. Now think about when you were a kid, like couldn't get enough dirt in your mouth, right? <laughs> so, and, and unbeknownst to us or beknownst to us, um, that actually is helping with our immune system. In the soil, that's where there are active microbiomes. That's where like all kinds of life activity exists. And so we need that in our gut. We're no different than any other thing. Um, thing in nature. And it's interesting because in there he says, if you go to the encyclopedia or the dictionary, nature does not include human beings. Now, okay, that's wrong. And, and he says, well, you know, that's just us kind of getting away from what is actually nature. And we are part of nature. Why are we any different? We are part of nature. So anyway, that what was really, really important interesting to me and that I want to correlate back to all of our conversations about health and wellness is um, the use of antibiotics. This blew me away. This is what Stacy, my sister-in-law, was talking to me about. So I, I referenced two different things. First of all, 
I will tell you, this came not from that podcast, but this came from the National Library of Medicine. And the correlation is between the use of antibiotics, like if you have a UTI or you have, have to take antibiotics for an infection of some sort or whatever, the use of antibiotics correlating to depression, severe depression, okay? And in the National Library of Medicine, it says recurrent antibiotic exposure is associated with an increased risk for depression and anxiety, but not psychosis. So we got that going for us, <laughs> but depression and anxiety. So here are a couple of statistics that I wanna to toss out to you that should be alarming and should motivate you to do something, something that you have in your control. Remember that circle of control I've talked about before? There are things you can do, and I'm gonna to talk to you about them, but listen to these statistics. And this came from the podcast. If you have one course of antibiotic within a 12 month period, that increases your risk of major depression, major depression, by 20 to 24% within that next year, okay? If you have two courses of antibiotics within that 12 month period, it increases it by 54%, the risk of major depression. That's scary. Guys, that's scary. And just think about that. And, and it talks about the feeling of disconnectedness is the term that he uses. They've known about this association for 20 years. But when you go to the doctor and you have a UTI or you've got to get some antibiotics, do they say, hey, just want to let you know, this is your second for the year. This is a 54% increase in a risk of severe depression for you major depression. And we wonder why we've got so much anxiety and depression in the world, not only being like, you know, like in solitude, <laughs> this is, it's, everything is just mounting on us. So we have to do something about it. Okay. So I didn't, I didn't want to bring this up to scare you because a lot of people do take a lot of antibiotics. Um, but I do want you to be aware you know, um, and what can you do about it? You can be as proactive as possible about keeping your gut because that's where the bacteria is, remember? So when you're taking an antibacterial medication, it's going in and messing that all up. That's what the point of this is. So it is upending and, and upsetting your gut and your microbiomes. So what can you do? I want to see if there was anything else. Um, okay, those were the points that I really wanted to make. And I'm going to bring this up, guys. This is our gut health. And it says right on it, digestion and microbiome support. You can't get any more direct than that. Prebiotics, probiotics, and digestive enzymes helps support a healthy microbiome. And that is exactly what Dr. Bush is talking about, okay? So, um, oh my gosh. And when you, you should look at this enzyme blend. I mean, I can't even read a lot of these words, but we're talking about fungi and bacteria and, you know, all this kind of stuff that is who we are. But we want to be healthy who we are, don't we? So, the... Get this stuff, you guys. I am not kidding. I'm not just promoting this because, because I have an Arbonne business. I'm promoting it because it can help you support the things that are so important in our bodies, in your gut. These are little packets that you just put into water or you put into a shake. You take one a day. They help, um, just in layman's terms, to going away from the whole microbiome thing. If you have bloating, if you have belly issue, issues, they're the thing that are called the muffin top erasers. They're like magical little packets. <laughs> Disclaimer, they're not really magical, okay? But they do a good job. So I just wanted to tell you about that. And I will tell you this right now, I'm gonna challenge you. I like to put these challenges out. Nobody ever takes me up on them, but I'm gonna put this challenge out. If you comment or you like, I'm gonna send you one of these, okay? Because I want you to try it. They're ginger flavor, so they taste good. Um, but I want you to try it. Do, do something, take a step in the right direction for your health, okay? 
All right, I hope you have a great day. Happy Training Tuesday.